So Ellen and Jane created a graphic organizer with a web. They put her original topic, race struggles, in the front. And Ellen and Jane worked together to come up with thinner questions. The first one Jane came up with were, what were struggles during the civil rights movement? Ellen then asked Jane to even get thinner and to come up with topics based off of that. Jane remembered her in history class talking about the Civil Rights Act. She thought maybe that would be a thinner question to ask, so she added what was the Civil Rights Act to her web. Jane then thought it might be important to think about people during the Civil Rights Movement, so she added another question to the web. Who were important people during the Civil Rights Movement? Ellen then asked Jane, well, that's about history, and what if your teacher wanted articles about current struggles people face related to race? Can we think of any thinner questions? Ellen thought long and hard. Ellen added two, or Ellen ha and Jane added two more questions to her web. Does race affect poverty? And does race affect equal treatment by law enforcement? Ellen told Jane, though, that these are still somewhat thick questions, and that she could probably even come up with some thinner questions that will help her look for articles on the internet. Can you help Jane out? Will you develop two more thin questions for each of the questions Jane added. With a partner, why don't you come up with two thin questions for this question, does race affect poverty, and two thinner questions for this question, does race affect equal treatment by law enforcement? Good job. You came up with some great, really thin questions. Jane will be able to use these in her internet inquiry search. Now, work by yourself and try to come up with another set of questions. Come up with a th question thinner than race struggles and then try to develop three even thinner questions from that question. Good luck.